Now we're going to talk about diagnosing a TMJ somatic dysfunction. First, you're going to monitor the TMJ with the flats of your fingers, just anterior to the tragus. You're then gonna palpate this as the patient opens and closes their mouth. And while doing this, you wanna be able to monitor for crepitus and also look at the range of motion. While doing this, also watch the patient's chin and the side that it deviates towards is going to be the side of the restriction. So if on this side, he has a TMJ restriction on the right. So to find the TMJ, you're going to go anterior to the tragus, so about right here. And then if you're having trouble, just have the patient open and close their mouth and you'll feel it move underneath it. So for this video, we're going to be demonstrating muscle energy to treat the TMJ. So for now, he's going to have a left TMJ restriction. Um, so his jaw is deviated left. So we're gonna use our right hand to support the right side of his head. And then we're gonna take our left hand and kind of have it along the mandible here. And when we, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have the patient open their mouth. And when we feel that the chin is deviating to the side of the dysfunction, we're gonna pause. So now right here, we're gonna gently push the patient's chin to the opposite side and have them push against us for three seconds and relax. And we're gonna reposition further to the right and have them push against us and relax. And then one more time, push against and relax. And now we'll reevaluate. So for this video, we're going to be demonstrating counter strain for the temporalis muscle. So the temporalis muscle is located here in a fan-shaped distribution. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for a counter strain point here. It can be anywhere along here. And once we find that position, you're just gonna kind of monitor it. Um, and then this is just so you can see kind of where your hands would be. And then you're gonna make sure the patient is looking straight ahead. You're going to take your opposite hand and grasp it around the chin. And you're gonna wanna move it um, towards the side and then superior. So it's kind of like a lateral and superior towards the point. And just make sure that the patient's jaw is relaxed. And then you follow the counter strain technique. So for this video, we're going to demonstrate counter strain for the masseter muscle. Um, so the masseter muscle, as you know, is located right here. You have superficial and deep fibers. And so to find the counter strain point, you're going to be pressing posteriorly uh, towards the anterior border of the ascending ramus of the mandible. So I'm just gonna be pressing posterior to find the counter strain point. Um, and then to treat this, we're going to have the patient slightly open their jaw at first. So slightly open your jaw. And then we're going to use our right hand while we're treating a left counter strain point to kind of slightly bring the jaw towards the tender point. And then we're going to apply a counter force against the frontal bone with our left hand. And then we're going to hold this for 90 seconds. And then return to neutral and recheck. For this video, we're going to demonstrate counter strain for the medial or internal pterygoid. So to do this, turn to the left, um, you're going to locate the ascending ramus of the mandible. And we're going on the posterior surface about two centimeters above the angle, and we're going to press anteriorly. So he has, he has a tender point on this side. So this is kind of where you're going to find that tender point. So to treat it, we're going to maintain um, monitoring that counter strain point, and we're gonna grab here with our left hand, and we're gonna slightly pull the jaw away from the tender point. And then we're gonna follow the counter strain technique, and then we'll return to neutral and recheck. So 
So for this video, we're going to demonstrate counter strain of the lateral or external pterygoid. So for this, go ahead and turn your head to the right. You're going to go one centimeter anterior to the neck of the condyle. So we're gonna go here and then just right here. And then we're gonna press medial and slightly posterior to find the counter strain point. So now I'll go here. And so you'll maintain monitoring that counter strain point. And then what we wanna do is we want to pull the jaw away from the tender point. So just relax. And then we'll just pull it there. And hold this for 90 seconds. And then return to neutral and reevaluate. 